凤凰卫视二十年，百余名外交使节、国际组织代表齐聚北京凤巢。Palestine and China are very old friends. It's the first embassy we established anywhere in the world. It's number one. 风云对话十五载，采访逾七百名国际政要。Part of the relation between China and Israel are in the media. It's important to have a TV like Finnish TV. 坚持以中国心、中国眼看世界。我经常在家看了一些呃，放空文学，我可以了解到中国人怎么看世界。国际形势风云激荡，在最显眼，始终有我们直面世界领袖，对话权力核心，从个人风范到立场决策，世界脉络与世界格局在第一时间清晰展现。Really profound, serious, and you asked all the challenges. Questions and I congratulate you for such a, a high-level professional interview. 凤凰国际友好日，风云对话，邀新客，会老友。大家好，欢迎收看《风云对话》，我是吴小天。今年是凤凰卫视成立二十周年，同时也是风云对话开播十五周年。十五年来，风云对话紧跟国际时政脉搏，共采访了七百多位来自世界各国的政要。在凤凰国际友好日当天，我们也和到访的部分大使做起了现场对话，听他们聊一聊在中国的感受，谈一谈对凤凰的印象。我们要看到的第一位大使来自巴勒斯坦，请巴勒斯坦大使率先出场。不仅仅是在过去十五年，巴勒斯坦是我们关注的一个焦。焦点还因为巴勒斯坦大使是活动当天第一位到场的大使，同时这也是他在北京以大使身份参加的第一场活动。Ambassador Madwa, we welcome, welcome. So I understand that you are fresh as ambassador to China, and you've been here only for two weeks. So this is like your social debut down in China, is it? Well, thank you very much for having me. I'm quite happy to be in China. It was a dream actually for me to be in China. You see what we say in Arabic uh, that uh, ask for information and knowledge, even up to China. This uh -huh. is an old saying in Arabic, maybe around 2,000 years ago. So as if uh, this is China where knowledge had started, where civilization had started. And for us, since we are in the west part of Asia, the sun rises also from China and near China or from the east. Mm -hmm. So for me as individual, it was one of my dreams which come true finally. When was the first time you actually visited China and what was the impression that you mm. had about China before you actually arrived in China? Yeah, this is not my first link with China. Definitely when I was young, not very young, I came here to China representing the Palestinian youth and students. Mm. And we've been interacting with the youth of China for a quite long time because I was responsible for our foreign relation for the youth. And you have a very powerful youth organization mm. here at the national level. So I'm not totally new to the China and Chinese affairs. And, uh, but now I am really coming with so much expectations to work and engage between our two peoples and our yeah, two governments. So as new ambassador to China, do you have any sort of master plans in mind as for how to really enhance the relationship between the two countries? Indeed. Uh, you see, Palestine and China are very old friends. Let me tell you, our embassy, which is now here, is the first embassy we established anywhere in the world. It's number one. So that can tell you how much our relation is very strategic, how much it is close. Uh, Chairman Arafat and uh, Chairman Mao Zedong, they were so much close friends and all leadership. But to be realistic as a diplomat, I think China has changed, things have changed in the whole world. We look like, you know, lovers, but they are not really producing children. We need really to bring some children into our relation. We need to have a meaningful cooperation in all sectors, in tourism, in education, in cultural exchange, in economy, in this. I think this is a very hard task for me. This is my assignment. So I'll be working a lot to fill uh, into this historical relation, which is very warm, but make it useful for the people of China and the people for Palestine. Mm -hmm. And you know, we are still in need of support of China as well, since you know we are still a country which is still under occupation, and we are looking for freedom and independence as well. So classically, the Chinese people and China had been very supportive uh, to us, uh, based uh, for the love of China for freedom and independence because we have got some similar past also. Mm -hmm. Chinese people who are born today are living in an independent, great China. 
But the old Chinese, they know what's the meaning to struggle for your freedom and for your independence. This is what we are doing right now, and China will support us. We are proud of the help and support that the China people and Chinese government are giving to us. 在风云对话十五年间七百余期节目中，对巴勒斯坦的关注持续且多面。无论是法塔赫与哈马斯之间无休止的分歧，还是巴以问题的旷日持久。二零零三年，时任巴勒斯坦民族权利机构主席亚希尔·阿拉法特接受风云对话的专访。阿拉法特是巴基斯坦人立国诉求的象征，是被本国人推崇的民族英雄。此次更是他首次接受华语电视媒体的访问。You know, you are a fighter all the years, in all your life. So how, what kind of thing you can talk to your children in the, in the generation to come? That peace is for our children and for their children. To Israel's children. Yes. This is a piece of the brief which we had signed with my partner, Rabbi, mm -hmm. who had paid his life for the peace of the brief. Mm -hmm. 二零零七年，时任节目主持人阮慈山先生与团队涉险前往冲突地带加沙，为获得与时任巴勒斯坦民族权利机构主席马哈茂德·阿巴斯再次对话的机会，在枪声四起中，匆忙赶赴拉姆安拉，完成了采访。You know, this year marks the 20th anniversary of Phoenix TV. So, what sort of understanding that you have for the change in the media sector in the world in the past two decades? Yeah, you know, media is uh, becoming more and more too much involved, you know, because they are bringing images, they are bringing style of life, they are educating and informing. Uh, sometimes media have got its own agenda by, you know, highlighting some areas, not highlighting the other. We in, in, in Asia, including China and Palestine, I should say, we've been all the time you know, uh, being covered by other media, not by our own. So people were stereotyping us. I think we have the duty now in our media to um, talk about ourselves and introduce our images to the rest of the world so that people would appreciate us. Because in the past we've been covered by BBC, maybe CNN and others. Now we have our media like Phoenix. I mean, look at these studios and facilities you have. You have the best technology and you have the best human resources who are capable to speak languages and so on. I hope that Phoenix would take on its shoulders the responsibility to cover the average Chinese human being, not only the economy and the political and so on, because not and much really power. is known outside. Mm -hmm. People yeah. know too much about China, but they don't know everything about China. China literature, China music, China uh, way of life, China cuisine, Everything China. China is one fourth of the whole world and has been a modern state for the last 5,000 years, mm -hmm. maybe 2,000 before any yes, European country came to Speaking of which, I country find came it to be. very interesting. You see the name Phoenix TV. Yeah, Phoenix. that is it. That is actually a bird that existed, the bird, but also the a bird. Middle East methodology. This is actually, you are a symbol of rebirth. We need to rebirth. Because the Nirvana. That's, yeah, exactly. That's what the bird is doing. He could really vanish, but he comes back all the time. and. China the Great is now already great, and I'm sure the media can show that greatness. What does it mean? How much innovation, how much hardworking spirit, how much the Chinese woman is a good mother, how much the Chinese scientists are really innovative and invention, how much China is looking to produce peace, the plan and vision of His Excellency the President, what does it mean, road and belt? Not too many people outside China really appreciate all those things. And this is why you have a very important assignment to do. And okay. I would like to wish you all the best in that. And I hope for this station all the time, all the success. And I will be happy to be supportive in that. And if you feel that I will be useful by any means, <laughs> I'll be more than happy to be with you. It's most kind Definitely, of you, and uh, I'm uh, we'll sure about be that. happy to see Phoenix flying up to Palestine mm -hmm. and maybe bring the images from there to our very brotherly and friendly Chinese people. I wish you all the best.
以色列也是风云对话，重点关注关切的一个国家。犹太民族有着悠久的历史，以色列有着蓬勃的生机。碰巧的是，凤凰国际友好日当天也是以色列的国庆节——独立日。二零一六年是以色列独立六十八周年。以色列驻华大使马腾曾任以色列国防部长。现在，加沙和以色列之间的围墙就是他下令所建。今年也是马腾大使在中国任大使的最后一年。我们来听一听马腾大使在国际友好日跟我们所做的采访对话。So Ambassador Matan, thank you so much for coming to our center, and it's a really a huge pleasure for us to finally have a chance to interview you. In our building for change, because you have offered us so many times your venue for interviews、mm -hmm. of all these、uh, guests from your country, and I still recall that the latest time was、uh, you offered your office. As a matter of fact, so when I had an interview with your、uh -huh. Knesset speaker,、yeah. so、um, this is the fourth year that you have been ambassador to China. How would you say your life and work experience in China? It's、uh, a very unique. First of all, thank you for inviting me here, and it's a real privilege to be here in these twenties years of the of Phoenix TV. I understand. So you're a gone boy, and the relation between China and Israel are、uh, going better and better all the time, and I feel here very good. And to live in Beijing, it's a wonderful. It's really wonderful to be here. Great, great. So, as you said, that today actually this year marks the 20th anniversary of、uh, Phoenix, and、uh, I appreciate that you said that Phoenix now is a big boy. And also, I understand that in your country there is a military service; it's a compulsory. So,、uh, when boys or girls reach a certain age, they are、uh, supposed to go to the military. And you used to be the、uh, defense minister of your country. Yeah. And in Israel, to serve in the military is the most important issue, and the common denominator of the whole people of Israel is the army service. And Israelis, when they meet first time, after two minutes, they will talk about their own experience in the military, basically males, but also females, because ladies are serving in the army as well. And this is not only the 20th、uh, anniversary of Phoenix TV. This is also this day exactly is the 68th anniversary of the State of Israel. This is our Independence Day. 68 years ago, our Prime Minister declared about the、uh, existence of the State of Israel, exactly as Chairman Mao did it in the 1st of October 49. Our、uh, prime minister did it in the 15th of May, 48, almost the same. And this is very important for us anniversary day. And a day after our anniversary day, five Arab armies invaded Israel in order to destroy it. And they were sure that in、uh, 10, 15 days they are going to finish. It took much more for us. And they never finished us, and now we are strong, and we、uh, finished the war, the independence war, on our side, of course, we are apprehended, and、uh, since then, we remember one lesson: in order to serve, to survive in the Middle East, you must be strong. If it is not for the media reports and documents concerning the peace era and the peace of mind, people may not be able to understand Mr. Mao's words. 也很难想象中东常年混乱的局势。风云对话早期曾先后多次采访时任以色列总理埃胡德·奥尔莫特和时任以色列总统西蒙·佩雷斯，这两位在当时决定以色列甚至中东局势走向的关键人物，在我们的镜头前似老友般亲切。What we really appreciate is in the past several years, indeed, Phoenix TV and your embassy did have a very active cooperation. So, if you look back, how would you comment on this relationship with the Phoenix Television? It's it's very simple, because it's obvious that part of the relation between China and Israel are in the media, and the media is playing a very important role in these relations, and therefore, it's important to have a TV like Phoenix TV 
a daily connection with them, a daily ties with them. And uh, because you were the first to interview me, since then, the uh, relation between us evolve all the time. And we feel, I feel very good when I'm speaking with, uh, with Phoenix TV. And I believe that the whole Chinese media is behaving very fair with Israel and with the uh, uh, very important relation between China and the state of Israel. And Phoenix TV is, uh, I believe, number one in this. 以色列是世界上唯一以犹太人为主体民族的国家。有这样一种说法：以色列盛产天才，善于创新。犹太人甚至控制着华尔街，统治着好莱坞，操纵着美国的新闻媒介。You know, I often heard that Jewish people and Chinese people have a lot in common. As the Israeli ambassador to China, do you agree with this? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. In which senses? I, I'll tell you, it's, it's amazing. Because you are so big and you are so small. Israel is a third of Beijing city. Less than that, I believe, in population and in area. No, area we are the same, I believe. And there is a very solid common denominator between the Chinese people and the Israelis, the Jewish people. And First of all, we are the oldest civilizations in the world. We are the only ones that can talk thousands of years ago. No one can talk about 5,000 before Christ. You can talk about it. You have a written history since then, and we can talk about it. We have a written history since then. And uh, you know Kongze, Confucius, is very important. And he uh, lived and wrote in the fifth century before Christ. In the same times, we have our wise elders and the same values of Kongze and the Jewish elders are the same. You won't believe it. Sometimes it's exactly the same sentence. And secondly, the Israelis and the Chinese, both of them are hard worker people. And both of them very proud to be Chinese and Israelis. We are very proud in our flag, we are very proud of our tradition, our history, our people. And this is a very uh, strong common, de common denominator between ch Chinese people and the Israelis. This is the first time you came to our center. Right. Yeah. Do you enjoy that? The German Ker Mu Xian, also a friend of the Fun Yun Dialogue. He talks about China and China relations. He likes to emphasize two things. One is that China is the most important partner in Asia, and China is the most important partner in Europe. The other thing is that the Prime Minister of Germany will be able to reduce the number of foreign investors in 2016. He will become the most important partner in the United States. 科目贤大使很看重跟中国民间的交流。二零一六年猴年春节之际，曾率全家通过我们节目向所有的华人观众拜年，幸福可爱的场面给我们留下了非常深刻的印象。Ambassador Claus, most welcome to you to our building. Actually, we owe you so many times because you have received us so many times in your embassy. And uh, we still recall that before Chinese New Year that uh, you and uh, all your families came to greet us, to greet our audience, which we appreciate very much. And uh, uh, since now you are here in our building, how did you like it? Well, a lot of windows, so it's very <laughs> nice, very modern, very impressive. It fits well into the architecture of Beijing with many beautiful buildings. Transparent, yeah. I think that's important for journalism. Yes, indeed, indeed. Very well said, yes. A um, good symbol. Yeah. You once said that uh, Germany is the uh, most important partner to China in Europe, and that China is the uh, most important partner to Germany mm. in Asia. What do you mean by that? Well, politically, we have uh, probably the closest relations. The Chancellor has been here eight times already and she will come for a ninth time in four weeks and in uh, early September she will be here for the tenth time. And also economically we have very close relations, so the, the closest you have with anybody in Europe and vice versa we have in Asia. That's what I mean by this, very close political economic relations. 目前，德国总理默克尔已经完成了他任期内的第九次访华，保持着西方国家领导人任内访华次数最多的记录。除了两国高层的频繁互访，德国使馆在与中国媒体的交流互动上也十分积极。
How do you find the Chinese media in general and how do you find the Phoenix television? Well, there's a lot of different media and you know that we appreciate Phoenix uh, quite a lot and that's why we love to do things together with Phoenix. Highly informative, transparent, up to the point, objective. Right. So, so uh, is there any plan that uh, you have in mind as for how to really enhance the bilateral relationship in the well, in years to come? Well, you know th that uh, we are now going, we're having uh, the last year the year of innovation and that there is going to be a very close cooperation on industrial innovation, which is really at the heart of it, of economic cooperation. And that is something that will continue for at least uh, a decade centered around Industry 4.0 and Made in China 2025. So there's a lot to do in that field. And at the same time, this year we celebrate uh, the year of um, youth exchange. Mm. So we try to get uh, young people uh, together so that they get to know each other better. 距离6月23日,英国脱欧公投还剩不到一周的时间。根据最新民调显示,脱欧阵营明显领先。德国外交部长瓦尔特施泰因迈尔近日发出警告如果最终英国退出欧盟那么欧盟可能面临分裂的危险届时作为欧洲第一大经济体的德国或被置于十分尴尬的境地 you see now uh, the, the solidarity of Europe or in the, of EU is now a really a topic of concern what is your understanding of this? Well, Europe is uh, uh, under a lot of stress right now because of the migration uh, crisis, uh, because of the Greek issue, which uh, still is not completely settled, even if the overall economic and financial situation has improved. And uh, you're aware that in a couple of weeks uh, we will have a referendum in the United Kingdom about whether they will leave the European Union or not. So a lot of uh, difficult issues and problems right now. Yeah, so uh, how do you understand the importance of the relationship between China and Europe? in general? Well, I think China has a great interest in a strong Europe and uh, it has uh, also contributed uh, to that in the past, uh, like for example uh, contributing also financially, uh, helping our uh, countries in uh, southern Europe. This year, the Feng Huang Wei has been invited to Feng Huang Wei and the Feng Huang well, age of 20, I think it's a perfect age. Uh, I'm afraid I'm a bit older than that now, but uh, 20 is great, and uh, all I can say is many happy returns. Is there any uh, wishes that you have for us? Well, just continue on the path uh, you have been, uh, what you have been doing in the last uh, 20 years, and many happy returns. 2016年除夕,风云对话播出了新春特辑《大国中国年》。令很多人印象深刻的是,柯木贤大使带着夫人和四个孩子一同出现在了我们的镜头前。不同于以往几次采访时的严肃气氛,和柯木贤大使一家的对话欢乐且温馨,让我们看到了在北京生活的外交官们的另一面。